If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. You can assign purchases you make to a specific customer or job so you can later bill the customer for those costs. To do this, use the drop-down that appears within the Customer Job column in the line item area within Forms, like the Enter Bills window for example, to select the name of the customer job you will be billing for the purchase as you create a bill in the Enter Bills window. Notice that the Customer Job column appears within the line items area in almost every type of transaction form, from the Create Purchase Orders and Enter Bills windows to the Write Checks and Enter Credit Card Charges window. You use the customer job column to assign line item amounts to a customer job for future billing, or to simply record job costing amounts. To later bill a customer for line item costs entered into many forms, ensure that there is a check mark within the billable column within the line item area for each line item that you want to bill back to the customer. To make the line item non-billable, if simply recording job costing information and not billing the cost to the customer, Click the billable check mark for that line item to remove the check from the checkbox. You can then save and close the form. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.